What's up, everybody? I just want to kind of go over my experience that I've had doing um, a couple Polymer 80 builds and uh, kind of my thoughts on whether or not it's for everybody. But uh, this was the first one that I did. It's um, Glock 19 model, I guess you could say, the size of a Glock 19. It is, um, I bought this completely through Polymer 80's website. Everything was shipped right to my house. And, of course, it's got the place for the serial numbers, but there's no serial number on there. It's kind of a nice thing. I uh, have to say the only problem I had with this after I put it together is I was getting um, a lot of problems with... Uh, not going back into battery and everything but what i realized what i was doing is uh running my reloads and it just was not liking my reloads so once i went with like manufactured ammo had no problem since don't have a ton of uh rounds through it but um ever since i've just gone strictly to manufactured ammo absolutely no problems at all both these guns are no ammo in them. Um, so that's that's the only problem that I had, and like I say, it was kind of my own fault for trying to run reloads in it right from the beginning. Other than that, it's been very nice. I like this so much that I did a second one. This one, this one I got kind of uh, got the frame during the Black Friday sales, so I got the frame about half off. And uh, I end up going with the uh, Rock Slide, Rock Slide USA, for the for the slide. The barrel, I uh, actually found a threaded barrel on Primary Arms, and believe it or not, it was a threaded barrel on sale for thirty-eight dollars. I should have brought probably bought a couple of them, and uh, it's it's been working fine. Now, this one, I definitely have some issues. Again, not going into battery. I was swapping parts out. And uh, what I kind of like the last thing I was looking at is I had the three and a half pound connector in there. And uh, I had a stock one. Put the stock connector in. That solved the issues of going into battery. It, it worked fine ever since that. Now, I've seen some videos of them taking their connector and kind of having to just kind of tweak to bend it a little bit. And that's probably all I had to do, but being as I had the factory one in there, it was working. I just left it alone at that. And then after I had solved that issue, I was getting a lot of, of uh, like strikes, uh, primary strikes. And uh, so I figured it was the um, striker spring. So I ordered a six pound striker spring. And while I was waiting for that, I have a Glock uh, 22. I took the whole striker assembly out of the Glock 22, put it in here and no more problems. And then I took what I had in here, put it in the Glock 22 and I haven't had any problems with that. So, both are working good, and I'm um, kind of leaving it at that. Uh, this one, I probably have maybe over $500 into this one. This one being I caught a lot of sales on to it. I was probably about 480 minus, of course, the red dot and the uh, suppressor height sights. This, uh, I got the Viper on here. Piper Red Dot, and um, I had this on a 22, so I swapped it. I'll put it on here, and like I say, put the suppressor sights Ameriglow on there. And ever since I have uh, changed them to problems, it's been uh, perfectly fine. So I guess um, if you are looking to do a uh, Polymer 80 build, you know, it's not uncommon to have some problems here and there. So if you uh, if, if you just want to get a Glock, get a, get a gun, gun you don't have to mess with, 
I would say, yeah, just go ahead and buy one. But if you kind of, the person likes to put stuff together, and obviously, when you do something like this, I mean, you're getting a, a slide with some cuts into it, you're getting the undercut here, uh, you're getting a better stippling job, I guess you could say. It's more of a, a custom, custom gun after you're done with it. Uh, actually, this one right here, the Glock 19, I, I shoot this probably more accurate than just about any gun that I got. So um, I've been I've been very happy with them. And this one definitely, as you can see, has the extended mag release where this one is not extending out so much. It's it extends quite a bit. So in hindsight, obviously I've done one, I've done two. I was thinking about doing a Glock 26, but I don't know. The thing about these are they do ship right to your house. You're the one that has to do all the work on putting them together. And basically then they're, they're your gun forever because there's no selling them. Uh, they're, your, they're your guns for as long as you're living, I guess. And I guess the only other, I should say, on this one, that when I put the Viper onto it, this was cut for the Viper, and it was not fitting in here. I had to take a file and file this down a little bit to get this thing in here to fit. Um, I don't know why, but I was thinking about just sending it back and get a new one, but eh, I, just, I just had to file a little bit off of it and it fit in there. So overall, am I happy with both guns? Very much so. They are... Um, they're, they're it's just not your typical gun. Um, like I say, this has got the cut in here, tops cut. This is pretty much, I left it alone. It's got the stock sights in there. And uh, this one I've tricked out a little bit more. Thread protector, I don't know if I like that. This is a Strike Industries one. I might just get a different kind, just a regular one. Um, besides that, if you're the kind of person that kind of likes to tinker around and don't mind if you have some issues fixing them issues um they're they're a lot of fun the kind of project to work on um any questions well, let me know thanks